Hello everyone, how are all you guys doing today? I hope you guys are all doing well. This is Arcane, and before we start, let's just take a time to look at this lobby we have right in front of us here. This is a lobby you will hardly ever see. This is how competitive it is. Look at the players we have in this lobby. Yes, this is Nova Mages. N nothing is true deathmatch tournament. It happened yesterday. Now it was supposed to actually happen a week ago, but PSN decided to crash on us when we were all there ready to play. So we had to move it over a week. So there were two lobbies of um, 16 players. Now forgive me, I can't remember the players in the second um, um, second team, but trust me, it was 16 awesome players. Really, really awesome players. Um, I want to first start out by thanking Nova Mage for doing an excellent job on the tournament throughout. Um, it was well organized. Um, a big thank you to all the players as well who took part. Everyone was there on time. Um, the people who dropped out, they give um, a decent amount of time of warning beforehand, giving us Nova Mage time to get back up. Back up was there on time. Unfortunately, backup decided to arrive on our team, and we got two awesome players. <laughs> but apart from that, the teams were, um, he he balanced them out really well, and um, yeah. So a big thank you to Nova Major. It was just so fun um, to do this tournament. It's the f probably the first competitive tournament I played where everything went well. I have been in some before, but they've been really laggy. Nobody turned up. This was the first well organized like true tournament I've actually been in deathmatch and it was just so much fun I'm gonna put aside what I said about tough competitive lobbies I knew I was coming into something competitive so I put that aside and I just enjoyed myself and I think I enjoyed myself more because I actually didn't actually play that bad to be honest with you I was expecting to get my backside kicked through every single game but um I think I had a bit of luck on my side during the games, and yeah, I think I came in like average fifth or sixth um, every game. So we played four games, um, and how it worked was the winner would get seven points, I believe, and then second place would get six points, and third place would get five points, and so on. And I think if you came last or seventh, I don't know, but you might not have got any points for that. And then at the end of four games, we add all the points up, and the top four go through. So I really liked how the top four go through. I think that give a really fair uh, opportunity for everyone to give it a shot. Because usually when you play tournaments, or what I experience in tournaments, usually like the top one or two go through, or the person who came first, he just goes through. So it's really it was like really tough to actually get through anyway. But this was it was really good how he let the top four go in from each group so obviously you'll have um, eight in the final I don't know how that's good yeah yeah you'll have eight in the final I got sorry I got a bit confused because I thought Nova Mage was just hosting the tournament because usually we, we, in these tournaments like these free for all tournaments you'd have someone just hosting but not really playing but I think Nova Mage was actually really playing in this tournament he was including himself so if he wins, I don't know, does he give himself a prize or not? I'm not too sure because there was some prizes involved. I don't, know, I don't know how the prize system works for if he wins. <laughs> but I think he actually is playing in this tournament. So four from each um, group. I think there was Omega and Alpha, the, th the two group names. I can't remember who was in the second group, but I know there was Sergio, Sergio and AB Zantos. So that was an awesome group as well. So I am really looking forward to the finals. It'd be really cool if someone could live stream it, but so trust me, when you're playing in these tournaments, you just need to concentrate on what you're doing. <laughs> so, with that being said, I think we'll get into the gameplay here. Now, the rules for this for this game, for the tournament, was anything goes. You could do anything you like to get points. Which was a bit funny because we're the sort of players who would complain if they saw some of the actions going on in this match, all these <laughs> all these games. But when you need points, people are going to do what they need to do. 
simple as. And um, there was a lot of time phase. A time phase was expected. I didn't get caught up in um, other people's time phase. Um, kind of stopping me from get losing, getting some decent kills. I lost some decent kills because of it, but you know what? There was nothing really much to complain about in this tournament. There was no lag. Um, that was the main thing because there were some rules on lag. If people were experienced lag, they might start again and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, I don't think no one um, had that serious lag. Maybe one or two incidents, but not really affecting the gameplay. And so yeah, that was, I don't think no one would complain anyway. It was just, it was just a good time. I'm really looking forward to some more of this in the future. Um, Nova Major did mention something about he might do a league or something. That sounded really interesting. I'd love to play some more of these matches. It was just so much fun. It was so intense. The buzz you get from these intense matches is so good. Yes, obviously a bit of luck is involved and with the contract system as well, and we all know that. Um, I, the, I did get a bit lucky sometimes where I got contracts right near me where I could go for some kills and get a poison. Um, I did, I don't, I did run poison eventually. Um, I didn't really get time to practice properly with other abilities, so I had to end up running poison, which was my mistake to be honest with you it's probably where I lost out a few points because I didn't really have that many opportunities to use it and if I did I wasn't really thinking because I was just concentrating on getting a kill before I die so I wasn't really looking at the pursuer boy in the bottom corner of the portrait I was just rushing or going for them kills I think I rushed a, f a bit too many kills but talking about rushing kills the one thing I learned from playing about competitive and I realized this in during the second and third game, you really when playing like in these lobbies, you really want to slow down and let them go in for their kill first, and then take the opportunity to get a good kill. So, um, I learned a few things from playing with these um, really good players. So, what we're we looking at here, second place with four thousand points. I was so excited every time I was in like first or second place, or like continuously, continuously just checking the scores because I'm telling you you could be second or even first and you probably just drop down to fifth or sixth in like in not seconds but 50 in, in half a second you would be in f fourth or fifth place the points were that close and i think that's why maybe i was rushing a few kills just to get like that 100 point because trust me just the 100 points would make a difference it was so close between everybody Hmm. I rushed that kill there. Free. I got him a few times. He was just so good anyway, so he's not, he's not gonna give me a chance for a nice kill. So I just quickly rushed that. And we got Gabamon in first. He played really well. He um. And I don't actually know this player, and I don't think I've ever played with him, so I didn't actually know who he was. But he played so well. So I don't want to say I underestimated him, but I didn't. From the people I knew, I, I, I thought they would like be on top, but it, it was him. So he played really, really well. He actually came first. I can't remember who came. He came first. Blah 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 blah. blah. I think Nova went through. Game ago went through. Freed obviously went through. I think that's your four there. I can't remember the order. Right. We got one minute. I'm I'm, I'm actually playing. Quite well to the last second. I think it's on the last. I started messing up here. I just started running around like an idiot. To be honest with you, I don't know what I was doing. I actually thought he was my pursuer, so I was going in for a stun. And then when I realised he wasn't, I had to run off before I get stunned myself. I don't know why I walked into time phase there. And as you can see, um, is it the duelist? He takes his well, blaze three two two. He takes his time, lets me go in for my kill, so he can get a nice silent kill. So that's the stuff you need to do. There were some moments where I was really kicking myself because I was g going really greedy. I had some opportunities, opportunities to get some hidden focuses or half a focus, and I tried to stretch it out of the full focus, and I um, I lost out. So I can't really complain about much of it when I, I, it was mainly any mess ups in the game were on my part. So I'm really looking forward to everybody else um, uploading their um. 
their videos of the tournament from their perspective is going to be really fun to see. Um, who we got in the lap? Ah, you see, that's what happened. See, ooh, it, was, it was just so complicated playing because like, other people were rushing as well. So, but, so if you took your time to get a silent, you were going to get a rush kill. So you know, it was, it was, you had to really plan out what the hell you were going to do. And in the last 13 seconds, I'm going to risk a poison. And he sees me and he's going to punch me in the face. But that's about it really. Um, thank you very much for watching the video. Comment, rate and subscribe. And I shall see all you guys later. Take care. Goodbye.